So this is the top 20 tight ends for 2024 from CBSSports.com. They go George Kittle, the 49ers one, Kelsey, uh, the Chiefs two, Mark Andrews, Sam Laporta, Trey McBride five, TJ Hawkinson six. They say David Njoku seven. He is always and has been an absolute freak athlete, but he finally put together the entire package in 2023, emerging as big play threat, strong red zone option, and an excellent blocker. Should be a really good player for Cleveland for the next several years. I think he's seven's going to be a little bit low for him. I think Deshaun Watson, mm -hmm. when Deshaun Watson gets comfortable, think about the off. We've been told this offense is going to look a lot like it did in Houston with the Texans. He was really good on seam routes to his tight ends. And guess what David Njoku can do? He can get deep. He can run. And, 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 and by the way, um, he talked about losing weight this offseason. Talked about he, he always plays between 250 and 275. He said he wants to be closer to that 250. Um, you know, they had a, a problem tackling him. He felt, you know what, it, it's crazy. It, it's like, you know, this happens from time to time. It's almost like, you know, when you come into your own and you start, you know, playing and it all comes together for you in a season, it was it was like uh, it, it was almost like just understanding that, like, you know, we're doing a lot of baseball references, but it's like, hey, uh, these guys cannot hit my fastball today. I'm just going to blow it past you. There's nothing you could do. Uh, David and Joku in the open field last year was just like a, a realization. Hey, I'm bigger than everybody. And you know what? I don't feel like going down. I don't feel like being tackled today. And he just was running through people's secondaries like a, a crazed maniac. So, you know, you throw that in on it, um, and he's going to get more targets. I thought he really came. And, and by the way, for all those naysayers with Jerry Judy's contracts, they had the same situation and same thing to say about Andrew Barry and David Njoku. I don't know why they're giving him this money. He hasn't shown anything. Why would they throw money? It's always getting them at a cheaper deal. Now, when he breaks out, and now under their tutelage, and now that they developed them, now that contract don't look so bad, do it. Hopefully, hopefully you get the same thing with Jerry Judy, but that's what they're looking to do. I think David Njoku is above Hawkinson. I think he's he's at worst. And, and by the way, Mark Andrews be hurt a lot too. Yep. I'm just saying. He yep. be hurt a lot. He's definitely in the top five to me.